नमस्ते दिस इज डॉक्टर शीतल लाठिया फाउंडर मेंबर ऑफ प्रीनेटल अलायंस प्रोफेशनली आई एम गर्भ संस्कार कोच फाउंडर ऑफ मोमेस्ट गर्भ संस्कार भारत टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट अ वेरी अमेजिंग टॉपिक दैट इज वोम चक्रा विथ यू बट बिफोर आई स्टार्ट आई वुड लाइक टू आस्क यू फ्यू क्वेश्चन वाई क्वेश्चन बिकॉज दिस क्वेश्चन विल हेल्प यू टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट दिस टॉपिक इज इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर यू और नॉट how to answer these questions you have to give rate to your answer this rate is from 1 to 10 for example if i am asking you ki whether you are able to share your emotions completely if you feel yes i can share 100% then rate it 10 but if you feel no i am not able to share it expressively very clearly then rate it 5 or if it's lesser than that you can rate according to that so with each equation just note down your rating and with that rating you will be able to know you that will be clear for you whether this workshop will work for you or not so let's start with the questions let's begin with the questions answer honestly my question number 1 how would you rate your ability to feel and express emotions how would you rate your sex life How much time do you create for simple pleasure in your life? How would you rate your physical flexibility? How would you rate your emotional flexibility? Are you able to nurture and be nurtured by others in balance? Do you struggle with guilt about your feelings or sexuality? Are you self-motivated? Are you creative? Are you giving enough importance to yourself? Not much or not less. can you feel your organs your body parts i hope you are ready with your ratings actually i have asked you 11 questions if our womb chakra is balanced our rate should be 110 but if it's lower than 110 whatever then we really need this video we really need to know exactly what is womb chakra how does it function how does it get imbalance and if it gets imbalance what are the manifestations or symptoms of that imbalance and definitely how can we cure how can we balance our womb chakra so be ready for this knowledge let's start womb chakra this is also called swadhisthan chakra this chakra is located in our lower abdomen just behind the genitals elements related to this chakra is water element and organs related to this chakras are kidney bladder uterus a reproductive system a fallopian tube our ovaries testicles whole reproductive system is connected with this womb chakra now let's see what is the importance of this chakra as we said this chakra is related to reproductive system so when this chakra is imbalanced this will cause issues in conception maintenance of pregnancy and menstrual cycle even so this chakra is connected with the fertility so imbalance can cause infertility and pregnancy and reproduction issues this chakra is connected to element water so this chakra is strongly connected with the fluid function of our body for example circulation of blood urinary excretion and reproduction and sexuality when this chakra is balanced our water element is powerful our body is functioning very good with the complete water elements and when this water element is complete it's smooth then we can get all the quality of water which is very important in our life for example receptivity now we are open to receive whatever is nourishing our life we can adjust the adjust in any situation like water water take shape of whatever wherever uh, water is so we can get adjusted in any situation and most important is we can flow we have the flow in our life we are flowing we are improving and day by day we are getting more and more powerful so this is very significant uh, symptom of balanced womb chakra womb chakra is associated with the yin energy that is feminine energy when this chakra is balanced we are at the best level of our feminine characteristics for example receptivity nurturance and 
bearing new life as womb chakra is connected with the moon moon always have the pull on the tide same way moon has pull on our desires on our uh, energy on our power so moon governs the unseen unconscious and mysterious so when this chakra is balanced we reach to the ocean of the energy which can move the world which can change the world now let's see the very clear practical symptoms when this chakra is in harmony we are in the flow of creative expression in touch with pleasure able to share and express feelings in healthy way create and maintain healthy relationship are connected to the emotional aspect of sexuality in ways that sustain us we also have a healthy relationship to money and easily cultivate abundance in our lives in balanced ways we are more creative we have ethics in our life now let's see what happens when this womb chakra is not in harmony or out of harmony we have difficulty expressing our feelings we are out of touch with pleasure and hold unprocessed anger relationship issues we also may have issues around money and abundance reproductive issues stuck in creativity not being able to birth our ideas into the world need power and control feeling of shame blame and guilt feel unstable or unhealthy around aspect of our sexuality now let's conclude the physical dysfunction of imbalanced womb chakra importance frigidity uterine bladder or kidney troubles stiff lower back chronic lower back pain sciatica gynecological problems pelvic pain adrenal fatigue anxiety prostate and rectal cancer conflicts guilt hip pain infertility sexual abuse sexually transmitted infections uterine fibroids cyst weight issues in our previous video we have seen what is womb chakra how does it functions and what happens if it get imbalance if you feel your womb chakra is imbalance absolutely don't worry because there are lots of tactics which are very easy we can balance our womb chakra really we can work on our womb chakra these are some yogic postures some mudras oil massage some healing techniques like affirmations meditation and there are some methods like journaling writing singing and music so step by step we, we are going to know about all these techniques let's start with the yogic postures let's start with the postures which can activate our womb chakra first is goddess pose leg apart feet rotated outwards hands in namaste mudra and just bend your knees and go down close your eyes and just focus on your womb chakra virabhadrasan that is warrior pose leg apart one leg rotating outside hands in namaste mudra rotate towards the outerly rotated leg and just bend your front knee look at the sky focus on your womb chakra malasan that is garland pose or scout pose leg apart rotated outwards hands in namaste mudra and sit down with your knees outside close your eyes feel the stretch at hip and at your womb region parivritta konasan leg apart bend your one knee and go down your hand just beside your feet opposite hand towards the sky look at the sky 
Feel the stretch at your back. Feel the stretch at your pelvis and hips. Close your eyes. Chair pose. Your arms at 90 degrees in front. Just bend your knees like you are sitting on the chair. Go down at your comfortable level and hold there. Just focus on your womb chakra below the abdomen. Anand Balkasan, Happy Baby Pose. Hold your both toes. Pull your feet towards your mouth. Let your hips get apart and stretch fully. Gaumukhasan, Cow Face Pose. Cross your legs like that so that your both knees come in one line. Your both hands holding each other behind your back. Baddha Konasan, that is butterfly pose. Your feet together. Your knees are down. Your hands on your knees and stretch your back. Feel the stretch on your womb chakra. Upavistha Konasan. Spread your leg as much as possible for you. Hold your toes and go down at your comfortable range. Hold there. Feel the stretch at the inner thighs, lower abdomen and at the hips. Pigeon pose. Just spread your leg. Bend one knee. Front knee is bent and Backward side leg is completely straight. Hold this posture. Feel the stretch at your hips, lower abdomen and thighs. Marjorasan, cat pose. Come on your hands. Make a square with your hips and shoulder. And now just pull your navel towards the ground. Just pull the navel towards your ground. Feel the stretch at your lower abdominal muscles. And look upward and feel very good stretch at your neck also. With the knowledge of some yoga posture. Now, let's see some mudras which can activate our womb chakra. Shakti mudra. Your thumb in your palm. First two fingers on your thumb. Now, connect last two fingers and your whole hand. This is Shakti Mudra. Kama Jai Mudra. Your first finger touching the nail of your thumb and just lightly fold other three fingers. This is Kama Jai Mudra. Yoni Mudra. Fold your last three fingers. First finger straight, thumb straight. Now touch the correspondence fingers to your opposite hand. Three fingers touching each other, first finger touching each other and thumb. This is Yoni Mudra. Ling Mudra. Left thumb out. Now interlock your fingers. Clasp your hands. This is Linga Mudra. Now, let's see about the food. There are some food which are orange in color and rich in water are very good for womb chakra. Let's see which food are good for our womb chakra. Drink enough water. Honey and yogurt is most beneficial for your womb chakra. Fresh fruit juices. Fruits like orange, Mango, watermelon, pomegranate, jardalu, that is apricot, peach, vegetables like carrot, sweet potato, pumpkin, tomato, broccoli, cabbage are good for womb chakra. Aroma therapy will also help you to balance your womb chakra. Let's see which aroma will help us. Tulsi, Lavender, Cardamom, Lotus, Orange and Rosewood. 
womb chakra swadishthan chakra is a seat of our emotions here we accumulate lots of negative emotions here whatever we suppressed it stores here so to just balance this chakra we need to release our emotions the best way to release our emotion is pranayam and meditation but take care while you are doing pranayam or meditation if your emotions wants to flow let it flow don't resist if you feel like crying you feel like yelling kicking you if you feel some sh someone should hold you do everything but let your emotions flow there are some more techniques to balance our emotions to release our emotions the most beautiful technique is dance particularly those dance types of those dance which allows your hips to go wide apart so ballet dance or salsa dance will help you to release your emotions journaling just write down as with the witness power just write down whatever you are feeling right and with that writing you can release your emotions painting is the beautiful way to release your emotions and just learn to share your emotions healthily without any complaint without any regret just share and get relief with all your negative emotions there is one wonderful healing technique which you can do with partners if you are married you can do with your spouse or otherwise you can do with your loved one let's see what is this technique sit close to your partner hold your partner's hands and look in your partner's eyes look deeply in your partner's eyes just try to feel your partner's love your partner's pain look deep in your partner's eyes feel your partner's emotions pain love and care continue this process till you need it or you are comfortable with your partner after completing this process we need to go for the next process immediately after that what is this process for example i am doing this process for my partner so i am putting my one hand on my heart and my another hand on my partner's heart now close your eyes just feel the sensation at your heart allow yourself to fill with love with positive energy beautiful smile on your face feeling filled with lots of love and light focus on your breath and now transfer this love energy and light to your partner feel that this light and love is filling your partner's heart feel the connection feel the love you are healing your partner you are healing your partner's womb chakra you are healing your partner physically emotionally and spiritually as swadishthan chakra is a seat of our existence you are nurturing your partner's swadishthan chakra you are helping your partner to fill her own existence you are helping your partner to see the purpose of her life with your eyes closed feel all love light and energy flowing to your partner's heart her heart is full of joy and happiness this energy filling her womb chakra your partner's womb chakra is healing feel that your partner is very creative in expression your partner has great bond and touch with pleasure your partner is now able to share or express her feeling in healthy way your partner can create and maintain healthy relationships your partner is having healthy emotional aspects of sexuality your partner is able to build healthy relationship with money your partner can cultivate abundance in her life your partner is more creative your partner is able to live 
ethical life your partner is full of love full of life full of light full of energy